and welcome back. I can't catch a freaking break with these death battles <laughs> this year. This is, I think, the sixth one they've done. I am zero and six, my friend. I didn't get to call this one right at all. Now, guys, obviously, I'm not going to say you can go watch it. Was as that for gray? It seemed like not a no-brainer, but it seemed very hard to understand how the one who won would win over the other person. And I'll admit, their explanation didn't re... Their explanation for this one is one of the ones where I'm like, that doesn't quite add up. Because this is where I feel like the numbers don't matter as much with this particular one. I mean, I get the numbers and, you know, how much power they're capable of really, you know, outputting and all that stuff. But at the same time, I don't know. Either way, we got Goro versus Machamp. By the way, this um, thumbnail is brought to you by, uh, I believe it's Vintage237. Uh, just because when people do thumbnails and I'm actually using the thumbnails properly, I do want to try to give a proper shout out uh, just so it doesn't seem like I'm just taking their shit. Um, now, Goro, he, I can't remember Goro's. He's an alien warlord. He doesn't really have much abilities, but he's, he's a four. It's, it's pretty much going to be a brawl is a thing. Um, he's an alien warlord, and uh, he's he's quite powerful martial artist, obviously. The thing about um, Machamp is this, though. And uh, let me see here. Let me get the Pokedex entries, because they're going to go with every information source they can. Using a Titan Muscle's power, not the punches that can send his victims over the horizon. One arm can move a mountain. Can move mountains. All four arms, this, uh, this fire, Pokemon fires off uh, awesome punches. The moving a mountain thing, I think that, right, and that's from Yellow. Uh, let's move on to a couple of other ones real quick. Swings four arms to uh, rocks its opponents with seats as punches, powerful punches over the horizon. Uh, Machamp has the power to hurl anything aside. However, trying to do anything without, uh, with, uh, do any work require, to me. However, trying to do any work requiring care and dexterity causes arms to get tangled. That, in theory, could play a factor. Martial arts is a bit more of a finesse thing. Um, now, that said, they also say it can literally launch a flurry of 1,000 punches in just two seconds. That's only 500 punches in one second, which means... Oh, God, can I figure out the math on that real quick? And to get off one punch, it's one five hundredth of a second. So I'm going to, just with those two feats, the moving a mountain with just one arm and the 1,000 punches in two seconds, I'm giving, because again, these are the kind of the things that Death Val is going to be looking at. I got to go with uh, Machamp on this one. Like, what a, to me, my money's on Machamp. If they say Goro's the winner, I, I, I mean, I'm not going to drop my, I'm, I'm not just going to just say, God, I quit. No, I'm not going to do that, but I will be definitely surprised at that one. Um, because to me, look again, they go over the information, they look at the Pokedex info, all that, and of course they, they're not, they are, there's, there's a level of bias, let's be honest. Um, but I mean, I still feel like they try to be at least as impartial as possible, except when they came to Deadpool, they just wanted him dead. Um, but I must admit that this is one that if we're going by the information they have available and that they'd be using, Machamp, Goro could not match up to Machamp whatsoever. So, yeah. Um, ultimately, yeah, I, I gotta go Machamp on this one. But what do you guys think? Think it's Machamp or you think it's Goro? Come on, give me one win. Statistically speaking, I can't get them all wrong, can I? Uh, it's a 50-50 shot each time. So, but that said, it's, um, <laughs> even though it's a 50-50 shot, it is, there's stuff that can weigh that 50-50 option ultimately. So, yeah, but statistically speaking, I can't get everyone wrong this year, can I? I hope not. Uh, I feel like this is going to be my. This is going to be the one that breaks it. Breaks it. I'm, so yeah. Um, hopefully it's, uh, that it's. Uh, hopefully this will be the one that breaks my curse this year. But so far, I'm not uh, not doing too well this year on the death battle predictions. But again, what do you think? You think it's Goro? I think it's Machop. I'll admit, I don't know a huge amount about Goro. Let me quickly get Goro up here so I can at least be fair on that. Goro, Mortal Kombat. What do we got for his abilities? 
Um, Goro, so villain, combat style, all that. He's probably got some energy projectile techniques, all that. Uh, so let's see here. Fighting style always revolves around powers and abilities. One of the most powerful warriors in Mortal Kombat, in the history of Mortal Kombat, being able to win nine consecutive Mortal Kombat tournaments, as well as defeating the great Kung Lao in the first tournament, which, which Shang Tsung, in his younger form, failed to do. He also served as commander of Outworld Army, Crushed Rebellions, okay, so he's quite powerful. Girl's fights are always revolved around taking advantage of brute strength and surprising agility. In early games, he was uh, an imbalanced character. All of his moves were far, did far more damage than all the other characters, and because of that, he was notoriously difficult to defeat in the first game. In 3D games, he was toned down to make him more balanced. Uh, is, he's now depicted as powerful but slow, but Chap could easily take advantage of that. He has the ability to shoot for green fireballs. Uh, he can, does a leap stomp, chest pound, spinning fist. He got a lot. He's got a lot of techniques, sure, but. They're all pretty much just grappling. He's got this thing called the Dragon Method where he brings green fire, uh, uh, shoots fireballs, choke and stab, lower fang, x-ray moves, other moves. Jeez, he's got a lot. Uh, fatality, sure. But I think Machamp's... First up, Machamp is not actually... Let me give a chance stats up here real quick because I don't know what Goro's stats would be as a Pokemon, but he would essentially kind of be like a weird, messed up version of a champ. But uh, more importantly... Uh, he is depicted now as slow. Despite as, as powerful as he is, he's a slow mover. So, let me see here. Machamp. What's Machamp's speed stat at? Because if Machamp's speed stat is like 80 or above, I will definitely give the... I mean, it all depends how you depict slow for these guys, but uh, let's see here now. Machamp, Machamp, Machamp. There you are, Machamp. What is the base stat for Machamp? So, let's see here. Speed 55. Ugh. Okay, that is a little... That's not, like, that's not it's super slow, but yeah, that is on the slow side. Uh, yeah. That's a little... I'd still say Machamp is probably faster than Goro, because um, Goro's not depicted as a speedster, and Machamp, obviously, his speed can grow. So I'm still going to lead towards Machamp, though Goro having a range attack does does get, prevent some problems. But fire is neutral, the, uh, uh, is neutral against fighting types, so ultimately it should uh, pan out pretty well. I'm still going Machamp. Let me know if you guys feel different. Until then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. I'll see if who would win a little bit. It's the week of who would win, so keep your eyes out for those.